Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. And on my screen there, you will see United States Nuclear Attack Submarines. And I wanted to, uh, to talk about the recent uh, upheaval in relations between the French and the United States, the United Kingdom, and Australia. So recently, the uh, Australians have entered into a more or less a triple alliance with the United States and, and uh, the United Kingdom to counter certain aspects of Chinese military activity in the uh, South Pacific. And uh, one of those abilities that would be transferred to the Australians uh, was the idea that, that the United States would assist the Australians with obtaining a, a nuclear attack submarine capability. And that would be along the lines of the U.S. Virginia class submarine um, and the improved Los Angeles attack submarine. And uh, originally the, the Australians were uh, in a contract an, ag an agreement with the French to build tw 12 uh, attack class diesel electric subs. And this was uh, the French submarine uh, that uh, the uh, Australians were going to utilize. Again, a diesel electric uh, submarine as opposed to a uh, nuclear submarine. And this contract was, was something in the neighborhood of 90 billion for 12 submarines. And uh, again, a significant contract, a significant financial loss for the French. And uh, I want to talk real quick why. Uh, why this has caused the French uh, such animosity towards the United States to where they actually recalled an ambassador or two. But uh, the reality is the, uh, the diesel electric submarine that the uh, French were, were going to build for the Australians or, or help the Australians build was, was great for uh, defensive operations uh, in the near waters of Australia, but uh, to protect shipping lanes and to possibly uh, engage the Chinese uh, near Chinese territorial waters, uh, you 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 simply need a a, a nuclear attack submarine, and uh, I think a lot of people outside of the defense space don't really understand uh, just how capable these these submarines are, how advanced these uh, nuclear attack submarines are. And when I mean when I say nuclear attack, they're most of the time they're not launching a, a nuclear weapon. Now they, they do have that capability, but they are they are uh, nuclear propulsion, meaning they have the ability to submerge, go underwater at great depths, and stay underwater for an extended period of time. Uh, really, uh, and that is based off of the amount of food. Uh, that the submarine is carrying for the crew. Now, a diesel electric submarine, uh, while on the surface it uses its diesel engines to uh, to power the uh, the electric capability of the submarine. So when the diesel electric submarine submerges, it is operating off of uh, electricity, electric uh, motors, propulsion, electric propulsion, and uh, at some point. Uh, they have to uh, resurface and recharge those batteries. And at that point in time, they can be detected via radar. And uh, they are smaller. Uh, they're not as big as these, these large 7,000 ton uh, American uh, nuclear uh, powered attack submarines. These Los Angeles class, improved Los Angeles class, and the much more advanced uh, Virginia. But uh, that is, is why the Australians decided to go with the Americans with the assistance of the United Kingdom. And uh, again, you have to understand that the United States was deeply involved in assisting even the British in the development of their uh, nuclear attack submarines as well. So they were having significant problems at one point, meaning the British, uh, 
U.S. defense industry stepped in, helped the British get out of some of those snafus that they were they were having with the development of their nuclear attack submarine, or, or rather their newest nuclear attack submarine. And uh, we, meaning we, the United States, helped them out, and that submarine was was deployed and finished and built. And uh, now uh, we are probably looking at, I would say, leasing uh, to the Australians, possibly an improved Los Angeles attack submarine um, that, that may go into uh, a reserve status at some point uh, as more and more of the United States uh, attack submarine fleet is filled out by the uh, Virginia-class submarine, especially the Block 5 submarine. So uh, again, these submarines also would have the capability to deploy the, the, the Tomahawk cruise missile. Uh, that was something that the French submarine was not going to be able to do as well. But again, that would give that submarine, that nuclear-powered attack submarine, the ability to hit a target a thousand miles away with these Tomahawk cruise missiles while being fully submerged. And uh, and, and just to talk about uh, quality, uh, the the American uh, nuclear submarine program is many many light years ahead of anything else that exists on the planet. It is simply the most advanced system, really, of any systems that could exist on the planet. And that's, that includes space flight, that includes aircraft, that includes anything that has been developed by humanity. The U.S. Virginia attack submarine, nuclear attack submarine, is one of the most advanced instruments, not just instruments of war, but instruments period, that exists on the planet. They're incredibly expensive, billions and billions of dollars. I think it's $3 billion for, for one, uh, uh, one submarine, one boat, as the Navy likes to call them. But uh, it, again, you, it is very difficult to compare the two. You, you, and I can understand the Australians looking at obtaining, uh, quite possibly in a fairly short period of time, uh, a, a, a leased uh, nuclear uh, attack submarine of the uh, improved Los Angeles class possible, possibly. Again, even though it's not a Virginia class, it's, it is an incredibly advanced design. And uh, the, uh, the Soviet Union at one point uh, was making capable submarines. They are starting to build more capable submarines now. But unfortunately for the Russians, they went through an extended period of time of economic calamity in which research and development was simply not uh, did simply not exist where they could keep up with the United States in terms of these technologies that are now being deployed by these these very advanced submarines and again uh, the United States builds many of them um, we uh, we're, we're, we currently deploy uh, 19 uh, Virginia class submarines, and we're building more and more. The Block 5 version of the submarine will be able, be able to deploy many more Tomahawk cruise missiles. Uh, right now, the Virginia deploys a vertical launch system uh, in the uh, forward area of the submarine where it launches 12 of these Tomahawks. The, the new Block 5s will also be able to fi uh, uh, fire off 28 uh, uh, Tomahawks. Uh, off the, uh, the the rear of, of towards the rear of the submarine or, or the midsection of the submarine, but uh, the that is uh, uh, the reason that uh, Australia has decided to go this route. Uh, nothing against the French. It's just the French. Do the French have a nuclear submarine? Yes, they do. Can they build nuclear submarines? Yes, they can. But again, uh, the United States is just so much more experienced. It, you're looking at a, a vast submarine fleet with 60 boats, and all of them are nuclear attack submarines. I think the French have eight total, I think four ballistic missile submarines and four attacks. I could be wrong on that. Maybe it's four or six of each. But again, that, uh, that experience of building these, these submarines is there. And, and just comparing the two, you can't. You cannot compare a diesel electric submarine with the capability that exists with a, uh, a, a, a modern uh, American Virginia or improved Los Angeles class submarine. You just cannot compare the two. Now, yes, uh, arguably the uh, 
the, the diesel electric submarine is quieter when submerged and operating off uh, electrical pr propulsion. Uh, but again, at some point, uh, they have to resurface and recharge and, and they're going to be identified then. And, and uh, again, the ability for these nuclear attack submarines, they, they go underwater and uh, unless you have a capable submarine hunting fleet, or abilities to identify these 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 uh, these boats, these submarines, um, you're just not going to find them, and they're going to wreak havoc. and And uh, that's one common issue right now that is very well known between the military capability of China and the military capability of the United States. The Chinese fully understand that the United States would just destroy the Chinese Navy with with alone the uh, nuclear attack boats that the United States possess. There's nothing really the Chinese can do to counter this force. Uh, the United States would, 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 for all intents and purposes, be able to negate a, a possible Chinese invasion of Taiwan simply with the use of its attack submarine fleet. Again, this whole concept of having to have deploy, forward, deploy these carriers where they could be targeted by uh, Chinese uh, anti-ship ballistic missiles uh, if they work, and uh, long-range uh, anti-ship uh, missiles uh, is a mute point because the United States could simply pull back those carriers for deploy its its attack submarine fleet and just cause utter havoc with any invasion plans the Chinese may have. And there's not much the Chinese can do. The Chinese do not have the capability to track. Um, the uh, the American uh, nuclear attack capability in terms of submarine they just don't and uh, giving the Australians that capability for those boats to submerge go underwater and hunt Chinese naval vessels or attack uh, uh, land targets or sea char targets with long range cruise missiles uh, is something that uh, the the Australians simply can't pass up it's a it's a it's an asset that the French would have a very difficult time delivering to the Australians, whereas the United States, uh, with with absolute, could could deliver those vessels to the uh, Australians, uh, train them on the use of the vessel, and keep the vessels up and running. But uh, just wanted to touch on that. Have a great day, everybody.